In the 1960s, the Soviet Union began using the Aral Sea to irrigate fields of cotton and wheat in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. The Cold War forced the Soviet Union to start their own farmlands because they didn't want to trade with anyone else. They needed an irrigation source to water these new crops, so they turned to the Aral Sea. As a result of the Soviet Union overusing the sea, millions of fish died, coastlines receded, and locals were plagued by dust storms containing chemical residue. Policies on irrigation bans need to be enforced to help limit the large amounts of water from the Aral Sea being used. The World Bank has made an effort to invest in dams to help replenish the sea. In 2010, rainfall levels helped refill the sea, but they declined again due to heavy irrigation. Hopefully, the combination of these efforts will restore the sea to its former glory. However, there are several disadvantages to these solutions. They will cost a lot of money and take a lot of time to put into action. Uh